going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my Blu-ray and DVD update video. Uh, this is going to be before Black Friday, during Black Friday, and that's pretty much it. I uh, didn't buy anything since. Um, it's currently Cyber Monday, so yeah, um, it's kind of ongoing. I'm not buying anything else though, I'm kind of, I've kind of spent my money. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. So first off, the two uh, lightning deals I picked up from Amazon. Um, now bear in mind, if you don't know, I live in the UK, Black Friday isn't such a big event here. Um, it's getting bigger slightly every year, but there's no like crazy deals on new releases or anything like that. It's really just TVs. Um, so I didn't go crazy this year on uh, picking things up. So I've only actually got two Black Friday deals. Um, that's just because there, a lot of the stuff that were on Amazon UK I had or I just didn't want. So... Mm, yeah, uh, but first off, I ordered this, I think, the second day it started. Um, I think the, the Lightning Deal started a week before Black Friday week, so it was like the week before. Um, but I picked this up, it was £10, and then with shipping it came to £12, um, whereas usually it would have been 17 including shipping. So not a bad deal, but again, it wasn't really a Black Friday deal, I don't really think. Um, you could probably get it on eBay for the same price. Um, but I picked up uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. Um, all four movies on Blu-ray. I just thought for a tenner, uh, or you know, the twelve pound, that's a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, you know, there it is. All four movies. Um, pretty cool set though, because um, if I take them out real quick, um, they are in slim cases as well. Uh, so of course you've got oh, a lot of that glare. You got Curse of the Black Pearl. Um, really just basic releases. Um, I think they're the original Blu-ray discs as well. Um, then we have Dead Man's Chest, there we go. Exact same, except it's even less artwork. <laughs> um, I think the third one's in my player. Oh no, I think it is. Uh, so, at World's End. Oh wow, it is actually in my player, because there's Black Ops 3. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just in my, my player, just now. Because uh, I'm currently watching it, but yeah, so at World's End, I do have it, it's just, it's in the other player. Uh, then we have On Stranger's Tides, which is the last one. Which I actually quite enjoy. Um, this also comes with a bonus disc. So that's the movie, and then there's the bonus disc that comes with it. Um, yeah, I do already have all four of these on DVD. Uh, I think that On Stranger's Tides was actually the first 3D film I'd seen. Um, now I'm possibly getting a 3D TV... For my Christmas, um, slash possibly January sales if I don't get one. Um, so I might upgrade on Stranger's Tides to 3D just because it was the first one I'd seen in 3D. And honestly, it's probably the best one I've seen in 3D so far. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, but yes. Um, currently, I have watched the first two films. So Curse of the Black Pearl and Dead Man's Chest. I've watched the first hour of um, At World's End. They look terrific on Blu-ray, um, I'm expecting on Stranger's Tides to look even better than the first three because obviously it's a bit more modern or newer. Um, yeah, I like the pirate films, you know, they're not, they're not amazing but they're still pretty good. Curse of the Black Pearl, I, I actually really enjoy that, I think it's a fantastic film. Um, so that's by far my favourite. Um, my second favourite, believe it or not, is on Stranger's Tides, I did really enjoy that one. Uh, then I would say Dead Man's Chest, then I would say World's End. Um, I think A World's End is kind of a slug to get through. I loved the opening scene, um, but, you know, some scenes were cool, but some scenes were just like, that. what was what was happening. Um, but yeah, so Pirates of the Caribbean, it was like £12, so I picked it up. Next one, one of the best deals I've gotten uh, this year. Um, this was very good price. Um, I have done an unboxing of this, so I won't delve into it, but you can watch the unboxing if you want to see it. Um, and that is the Harry Potter Complete Hogwarts, uh, or the Harry Potter Hogwarts, Hogwarts Collection. Um, so of course you have all eight of the films, and you get, I think it's either four, you get three bonus discs, or you get two, depending on the film. Um, so you get a Blu-ray copy of every film. You get a DVD copy of every film, you get a digital copy of the film, uh, or of every film, and you get the 3D copy of the last two films. Um, so that's pretty cool. 
Um, now, I'm actually selling the code on eBay right now. Um, you don't have to buy it, but I'll put the link in uh, if you do want to put a bid in. Uh, it's just the digital code. There's nothing else with it. Um, the, I think the current bid is about £16. Um, I've seen them on eBay recently for about 30 so I'm hoping it'll go up a bit. Um, so I am selling that. If you want to, you know, check it out and put a bid in, then that's fine. Um, you know, I'm messaging the winner of the bid with the message. I'm not actually sending them the leaflet. Um, so yeah, you don't have to, you know, it's just if you want to, if you don't have the films. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice set. It is an Amazon exclusive, or it used to be, but I have seen it on the Savvy recently. So I don't know if uh, that was only a limited time kind of deal. Um, if you have the Bond 50 set, it's pretty much exactly like that, just a little bit more discs in there. But yeah, uh, it was £89, went down to £44, um, which was a good deal. And of course I'm selling the code, so I'm getting pretty much a lot of money off that. That's already a tenner off. So technically, already I only paid actually 33 quid for that. Um, so that was quite a cool set to get. Uh, next up, this is before Black Friday, I picked this up. Uh, this was my first Amazon.com import. Um, I've imported from Amazon Germany, just not America yet. Finally did it, and I picked up a Digibook, um, which aren't very common in the UK. We never get Digibooks released. Um, this is one American Digibook you never see on eBay. Um, like, you see all the regular ones, like uh, Blade Runner, Green Mile, stuff like that. Super easy to get, like, under 20 quid. This one is never on uh, on the eBay um, site. Uh, so I finally plunged and took, uh, I got it. Uh, and that's the Town Digibook. Uh, with Ben Affleck, uh, directed by Ben Affleck and also starring Ben Affleck. Uh, you've also got Jeremy Renner in here, Rebecca Hall, uh, Blake Lively, John Hamm. Awesome, awesome film. Probably my favourite heist film. I do think it's slightly better than Heat, uh, even though I really do enjoy that as well. Um, but personally for me, I enjoy this more. Um, I think it's a bit easier to watch than Heat. I think Heat kind of drags out a little bit. First half of the film is amazing. Second half, I'm kind of like, oh, come on, hurry up. Um, but yes, this is the, the American Digibook, uh, quite a nice size as well, it's a, quite a thick one. Um, like if you look at the other ones, um, you know, the Fox ones are quite thin, this is the Comancheros. Really thin comparing against the, uh, the town. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite glad the size was quite good. Um, it comes with a bunch of cuts though, uh, of the film. Um, so it's a two disc set, uh, you get some really, I don't know if you can see, but you get really nice artwork. Uh, so the first disc is the extended cut with the alternate ending and then if you go to the back you get another disc with some more photos um, and then you get the theatrical cut with the ex and the extended cut. So theatrical cut and extended cut and the extended cut does not have the alternate ending. Um, I have watched the alternate ending, really enjoyed it but I do prefer the theatrical cut. Um, if you have seen the film you probably know why. Uh, but the digibook itself is really, really nice. Um, see, I love digibooks, but, you know, a lot of the ones I actually want film-wise is like Amazon Germany or France. And yes, they're really cheap, but a lot of the language isn't even English. Like, there's no English translation. It's all just, for, you know, French or German. That's kind of what put me off. Uh, but yeah, really nice digibook, and uh, it looks great on Blu-ray as well. Uh, I think I paid... £14.50, some, somewhere around that, it was £14 something, uh, so that was quite a good deal, so uh, yeah, the Town Digibook, awesome. And that's for the Blu-rays, um, yeah. Uh, next up, DVDs, uh, I'll do the ones I got kind of during Black Friday deals. Um, two wrestling pickups, uh, just really quickly go through them. Um, this was on, was it Amazon or eBay? eBay. Uh, I was playing COD, I saw it, it was like 50 cents to go, so I thought, why not? Uh, put it in, I got this for like Netty P, uh, and that's ECW's uh, The Most Extreme Matches, uh, two disc compilation, uh, of course DVD. Yeah, pretty much all from the 90s, I think the latest one uh, is the 2000 um, year. Um, came with the insert and everything. Uh, so yeah, I've watched the first few matches, it's okay. Um, I'm glad I never paid anything more than 90p, but uh, yeah, so I picked that up. And then I also picked up on Amazon, this was £2. Uh, it is the Twist of Fate, the Matt and Jeff Hardy story. 
uh, documentary about how they uh, got introduced to uh, wrestling and, and WWE and, and uh, a hint of TNA. Um, I think this was filmed around 2008, so it's not like modern, it's not up to date, but uh, it's, it's really cool to go back and watch. Um, so like, there's the uh, the back. Um, now it actually came with the slipcover, and the slipcover's kind of hard to get. I saw someone selling it on eBay for 15 just because I had the slipcover. Uh, but I paid £2. I think it was Zover stocks I got this from. Um, and then, of course, you get the uh, the inside. So, you got a booklet and then the two discs. One disc is the Matt Hardy um, story. And then the second disc is the Jeff Hardy one. I've only watched the Jeff Hardy one. Uh, it was around 50 minutes, which is pretty cool. Um, and you get some matches on there. I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. Probably not. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up, so that was just some cheap wrestling. I do like wrestling, not so much now, uh, but I like watching the earlier stuff uh, from like 2003 onwards. Um, I, I, I like the documentaries, I'm not getting every pay-per-view, but I like watching the documentaries, so yeah. Um, okay, so this was kind of like this past couple of days I picked these up. Uh, I went to CX uh, and they had moved all the DVDs and Blu-rays and Xboxes and all that around. Um, so now it's actually like the what uh, from the roof to the the floor is all DVDs uh, on the back walls. It's not like half shelves where you have to actually like nearly go down your knees to see what's on the bottom shelves. Um, so that's good. Um, but I picked up um, a western I'd still never seen, even though I was a huge western fan, and I finally watched it, uh, and that was High Noon on DVD, uh, only a pound. So that was pretty cool. One of the original releases. Amazon have this for 15 quid just now, so uh, I'm not. I don't think it's out of print. I think it's just because it's an older release. Um, but it came with an insert and stuff, so that's pretty cool. It was it was a good film. Uh, Gary Cooper and uh, Grace Kelly. Uh, Grace Kelly, I love her. She was in um, Rear Window uh, with uh, James Stewart from uh, the Alfred Hitchcock film. Uh, that's like my favourite Hitchcock film, um, so I, I loved her in this as well. Um, so yeah, good movie. And then finally, um, some people might like this, some people might not, probably, I don't know. Um, a, a while ago I bought a Russell Brand DVD, um, well, I found a box set in CX, uh, which included it, but it was cheaper to buy this set than it was to get them individually. Um, so I bought uh, a Russell Brand triple pack. Uh, as you can see, I only paid 75p, um, and you get three of his film or uh, DVDs. So you get um, Russell Brand, uh, what's it called? Doing Life Live, uh, which is from 2007. Yeah, 2007. Um, you get his first season of his TV show, Ponderland. And then, this is the one I had, I bought it in CX a few weeks ago for 25p, uh, but this set was only 75 and they're usually about a pound or two each, so I thought it's still cheaper. Uh, so the Russell Brand Live from 2006, which was okay, uh, it was it was an okay show, I've seen funnier ones from him. I think this one's a lot funnier, so yeah. Um, 75p, I like them, I loved them in uh, Get Him To The Greek, that's kind of what put me on a Russell Brand, uh, watching his stuff, um, but yeah, a lot of them I think you can get on YouTube, but, um, yeah, 75p, I thought, why not, so, yeah, so that's everything I picked up, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to buy anything in December, there is stuff I'm wanting, um, but I kind of want to save onto it until, like, the Boxing Day sales and all that, and go down and spend it all there, um, Again, I don't know if I'm getting a free TV or not. If I do, I'll probably spend most of it on 3D films. Um, I went through my collection. I've got about 20, 30 odd 3D films already. So, you know, I don't have to immediately go out and get some. But there's not a, there's a, a lot of new releases. Um, like Mad Max, still haven't got that. Jurassic World. Uh, so stuff like that. San Andreas, possibly. Um, that, you know, I'm kind of holding off, to, you know, and getting it on the 3D. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm getting one yet or not, so yeah, hopefully, but uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this guys, uh, leave a like and a comment as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video, stay awesome, peace.